Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at how to prove this trigonometric identity. We're going to be using the addition formula. Let's get right to the question. In this question we have cos of alpha plus beta. So we have an addition right here over cos of alpha minus beta. This comes under addition as well. This is subtraction. It's equals to cotangent beta minus tangent alpha over cotangent beta plus tangent alpha. In proving trigonometric identities or verifying trigonometric identities, we usually start with the more complex side. That is the easier route to take. So in this case, it might not be very clear which is more complicated, but I'm going to start with the left-hand side. So let's look at the left side. Since we're dealing with addition of cosine, let's write down the general formula first. The addition formula for cosine is cos of A plus B. This is equals to cos of A cos of B minus, so when it is an addition, we use minus here. The operator is minus cos of sine of A and sine of B. And if it was minus, it was a subtraction, then the operation here would be plus. So it's the opposite. If it's plus, it's minus. If it's minus, it's plus. And so we're just going to apply this formula here. The first step here, cos of alpha plus beta will be equals to cos, let's start with the left hand side. Left hand side is equals to cosine of alpha, cosine of beta. Since this is plus, this will be minus minus sine of alpha sine of beta over in the denominator we have minus so cosine of alpha cosine of beta plus sine of alpha and sine of beta so once we've done this step now we have to look at our goal we always look at our goal and see how, what steps we can take to reach that goal in the right hand side we have cotangent of beta and as it is, we have cos of beta. We only have cos of beta. So in order to get cotangent beta, cotangent beta is actually cos of beta over sine of beta. This is cotangent beta. So in order to get cotangent beta, all we have to do is divide the numerator by sine of beta. So the operation that we need to perform here is divide by sine of beta. Since this is not an equation, we are treating it as an expression. We are only going to take one side of the equation. So we cannot simply do any operation. We are going to be dividing the numerator by sine of beta. And so we must apply the same thing to the denominator as well. So the denominator we divide by sine of beta as well. So now let's perform this operation. So this will be equals to, let's take it term by term. Let's not combine it together. So you will have the first term. So let's focus on this term. So this is cos alpha cos beta divided by sine of beta. And then we go on to do it to the next term as well. So now we are looking at this term, sine of alpha, sine of beta. So sine of alpha, sine of beta divided by sine of beta. And now we have to do the same thing for the denominator as well. So divided by, the whole thing divided by, the denominator we have cos of alpha, cos of beta, divided by sine of beta again. Minus, now we have, uh, sorry, the bottom is plus. So we have sine of alpha, sine of beta, over sine of beta. This is what we have after performing the operation of divide by sine beta, both in the numerator as well as the denominator. What's going to happen here is, so first, the whole reason of doing this is to get this, cos beta over sine beta. This is cotangent beta. So we've gotten our cotangent beta. You can see the same thing in the numerator as well, cos over sine. This is cotangent beta. Now, when we look at the other terms, sine beta can be eliminated by division. So sine beta divided by sine beta, we get 1. Now let's write this down. What we have left here is, this is equals to, cos of alpha is still there. So cos of alpha, but now we have cotangent beta. Cos of alpha cotangent beta minus, what we have here is only 
sine alpha. So sine alpha over. Look at the denominator again. We have cos of alpha here. So cos of alpha. And this is already cotangent of beta plus sine of alpha. And now we look towards our goal again. So we have achieved one part of it and that is cotangent of beta. However, cotangent of beta is by itself. It is not multiplied with cos of alpha as we have here. So what do we do to rectify this? We have to divide by cos of alpha. So let's do exactly that. Once again, you have to do the division to both the numerator and the denominator. So divide by cos of alpha and divide by cos of alpha. By the way, guys, if you're getting any value from this video, please do me a small favor and hit that like button. Thank you very much for doing that. It really does help with the growth of the channel. So what happens when we divide by cos of alpha? We will get, this is equals to cos of alpha cotangent beta divided by cos of alpha minus sine of alpha divided by cos of alpha. Now this is just the numerator. So we do the same for the denominator and you will get cos of alpha, cos of alpha cotangent beta divided by cos of alpha and plus sine of alpha divided by cos of alpha. So let's look at what we have here. Once again, you can simplify this by eliminating cosine of alpha. You divide, you get 1. So all that's left is cotangent of beta. And if you notice, sine alpha over cos alpha is simply tangent of alpha. That's the same with the denominator as well. So what we have here is, this is equals to cotangent beta is all that's left, minus tangent alpha, divided by cotangent beta plus tangent alpha. Now we have reached the right hand side. This is equals to the right hand side and it is proven. This is verified. This is how we use the addition formula in verifying or proving trigonometric identities. If you like this video, guys, do, do me a favor and hit that like button. Again, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Do subscribe if you like videos like this because I'll be producing at least one a week. If you'd like to see more proof questions, I've done one more. I'll leave the description, the link below. And if you'd like me to do even more examples, then please do comment. You can even give me the question. I can work it out for you. I hope to see you guys in the next video.